Welcome to our tutorial about variables. We use variables for storing value. The value held in a variable can also change. For example, in the beginning of our program, we hold some number, let's say x, in a variable. By the end of the program, this value could change, for example, to y. Now, before you start using variables, you need to declare them. In other words, you need to ask Visual Basic to create the variable. However, it is possible to work with variables without declaring them, but it's a better idea to declare them. Let's go to Tools and Options. On the Editor tab, you can require variable declaration by checking this box. Cancel for now. By the way, variables can only hold one data type. After you declare a variable, it always retains its original data type. Let's take a look at some examples. Here we've got four variables declared inside an event procedure. These are what's known as local variables. In other words, these variables are effective only inside this event. The first variable is declared as an integer, the second as a single, the third as double. The last one is a string with a limit of 15 characters. When you declare variables, it's a good idea to use the common prefixes for your variables. For example, INT is the common prefix for integer. Here are some more examples of the commonly used prefixes for identifying data types. The last column shows an example of how to use the prefix in the naming of a variable. We can combine variable definitions in one line, as you see here. Another thing, when you define a varying variable, these two statements, for example, they effectively mean the same thing. Also, to define data type, C statement as integer, we can use a suffix, in this case the percent sign for integers. Here is a list of commonly used suffixes for the main data types. Now let's take a look at scooping variables. A variable scoop determines in which module and procedure a variable can be used. For example, all these variables can be used inside this procedure. However, if I declare this variable before the first statement in this module, the variable will be visible in the entire module. Instead of dim here, I can make it public. In doing so, I make this variable visible to the entire program. In other words, for all modules in this program. Effectively, I have thus made this variable a global variable. And this concludes our tutorial about variables.